Hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. This is week 34 in the Marguerite Miller um, Collage Weekly Planner. That's what the CWP stands for. So um, let's get started. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, it's another very hot, humid day here today. I just came in. I took the girls out for a spin around the backyard and it is monstrously humid today. So I am in, I figured I would, I would work on this. Um, it is, it is a Sunday. It is, let's see, August 13th. So I'm a week ahead of creating my collage planners. I have another busy week, so I want to get this done and everything came to me pretty fairly well. So I thought we would work on this today. So this week's prompts are something fast, a scrap from a paper pad, which I'm not going to use. I'm going to um, flip that out with tissue paper. Then we have a flag, architecture, and then text other than English or your native language. And I did have that. Um, let's see here. Okay, so I have that back up because I think I might use my stamps to do something, but I'm not sure. So this week, my architecture is this amazing piece of architecture here. And this is the vessel. And <clears throat> this is a true sight to be seen if you're in New York City. And there is a walkway called the Skyline. And in order to get to the skyline, um, we walked through this section of New York and we wanted to see the vessel. And this is just incredible. These are all walkways all up through here. Unfortunately, when we were there, we did not go up in it. The line, it had to be probably a two and a half hour wait to um, go up and take a stroll through it. Um, but believe me, there's plenty of good shopping behind here. This is a big mall plaza. So we went into the mall and had some fun there. Um, but this, this is really, this is a really spectacular um, piece of architecture to see. So I am going to, I'm going to cut this out here. Um, and I'm going to start, I think I'm going to just come up along here. So I'm going to be cutting for a little bit and chatting. And I just want to kind of outline, um, I think I want to do this straight. And if I don't like the way this looks, I will just kind of redo it. I have all kinds of pictures of this, um, but they're on my old, they're on my old computer. And I have to figure out a way. They're on my old iMac that unfortunately I can't update and I have all of my New York City pictures on there and I I do think I I ran them off to scrapbook them uh, I hope I did I pray I did because that's the one thing that I hate about Max I really despise Apple. I I switched over years and years and years ago. Um, they don't allow you when you do get, I always say Apple is like a cult. It's a following. Um, but that's just my opinion. I know a lot of people don't like that term cult. But people are so, they get so ingrained and hooked into using Apple. They think that that's the only the only um, availability out there. 
and it's it's all personal preference. I don't judge. A lot of my my girlfriends all you have Apple phones and Apple watches and I really don't care. Um, it's just not it doesn't work out for me. I, and I tried to get my photos off of there um, and transfer them. Forget it. Once they once they own you, they own you. Um, I'm going to put something along the bottom because I don't want these. I don't want these people. So I could not. I could not get. Um, I couldn't use one of my photos for this, which I really wanted to. So I ran one off that was I was able to use. And I'm just going to do this. But if you ever have a chance, I won't go back into the city. It's a mess. And it's so sad because, honestly, we used to go there almost every other month. Um, we would go in for fun and pleasure and um, spend a lot of time going to see plays and just poke around Central Park and window shop and all that, and we won't go near it now. It's it's a mess. It is just a mess. I'm just wondering. I think I'm going to add a little bit more interest here to these. I'm going to So I really do miss the sights, the sounds, and the smells of the city. Because they really they have such has such distinct smells with the vendors and the um, the steam and the the air coming up, you know, from the grates, you know, when you when you walk over the subway area, and I really miss it. Okay, so we have some blue sky back here. And I want to use, like I said, I want to put some washi on the bottom. Um, I'm just looking here. I've got my bin. I have my bin on my lap. And I thought I would just look to see if there was something fun and funky. I could just run across the bottom here. Um, give me a minute. This I did not plan on or prepare for. Maybe I could find, let's see, I don't know if I want to use a blue. I have a blue polka dot or a blue blue. I don't have anything as Blue is that. Hmm. So what should I do, everyone? Should I go with something totally different? There's kind of a gold with the polka dots. That might be kind of fun. That might be kind of fun. So I will get this down. And I don't think I will be cutting these out. Um, I'm going to leave it just like that. So. And we live, I live, my family lives, we live in a resort area. Um, f 
four hours north of the city. And we had, during COVID, we had an awful lot of people from the city and Connecticut and New Jersey, you name it, you know, all those down, the downstate people. They moved north here and our summers, I've, the, especially this summer, I've never seen anything like it. Traffic, uh, my girlfriend has a shop that offers really cool handmade Adirondack goods. Very upscale shop in a very small town with one traffic light. And she said that when she's been leaving the shop, there's four cars in front of her waiting to take a left or a right to head further into the um, mountains. And she said that when there's more than, when there's more than two cars, at a traffic light in the Adirondacks, it, it becomes a, it becomes a city. Um, because we aren't used to people. This is why where we live is so special. Um, and I'm finding too with, you know, people that have moved here, now their friends are coming and their relatives are coming and it's more and more and more and more um, tourists. And it really makes it hard on the local communities because the grocery stores are smaller. The prices, I mean, they've gone up, but when you're in the mountains, they go up exponentially. Um, our health care system, we have small um, health care facilities. They're overwhelmed. So it really does have a domino effect. Um, and it used to be nice after Columbus Day, everybody would go home. You know, we still have a lot of leaf peepers that come. Now they're not leaving. And that's that makes it hard. So, but this is just a wonderful, wonderful. So this is my stamp and I'm going to put this right here on that, on that flagpole. Um, I do have another stamp that's vertical, but I think this one, I think this will be just fine. And my husband keeps reminding me it's good for the economy. It's good for our area. But I'm like, I know, I know. I just... Not used to waiting for a table either when you go into a local restaurant. Um, now we have to make reservations, which is it's crazy. So here is my architecture. Here is my flag. Something fast. So I am want to, first of all, I have these really pretty butterflies. I'm swapping out the scrap paper for tissue paper. And I found this really pretty. It's from Hallmark. And this is an oldie but goodie. Look at that, $2.25. I don't think there's a year on here. Hallmark cards. Oh, gosh. No, this has to be from the 70s, I would think. But this is really pretty tissue paper. So I cut a piece of that off, and I cut out these butterflies. And I just thought the butterflies would be really pretty to put on here um, and maybe up flying out away from this so 
know if I can get them maybe to go this way. Or maybe they could be coming out of the top of the building here. Take these larger ones and maybe put them, put them like this. And I thought what I would do, some of these are on the edges. And I thought I would cut these out as well and maybe... Um, Kind of like it when they're in a cluster so they're maybe flying out like that they're all coming out of the top here maybe flying down and around Add a little bit of interest, take away some of this white, because I also want to put my maybe I won't put that one there. I could put that one like maybe over around here where they're all flying out. So I may cut a few smaller ones out here if I can find one I just hope when I go to use my glue I guess I'm gonna have to use my glue stick on these huh We went to our friend's house last night up up north here, about a half an hour north. They live on a really cute lake. Um, and I'll tell you that the, when I talked about the prices going up, um, I had to get, I brought some brownies. We did like dessert and drinks and she did just little appetizers um maybe I'll put the saying down here um so I went in to get some ice cream and oh my goodness for I don't even think they sell a half a gallon anymore I think the containers have gotten smaller um $7.99 and I'm like you got it. and that was for Briars. And then there, they had Turkey Hill. They wanted $6.99 for that. Then I said, well, maybe I'll get a smaller container. Um, I'm so cheap. I'm, getting, I'm really beginning to get really cheap with food. We've given so much up um, to snack on and eat. Um, So I looked at the haagen and you know, those are the tiny little ones. I said, that'll be enough for the four of us. And then I was thinking if her grandson is there, they wanted $7 for a small thing of haagen -Dazs. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. So I looked for the store brand. The store brand was Top, or uh, was it Tops? Or, I think Tops, or Gra I think Tops, not Grand Union. And they wanted $4.99 for their brand, their Neapolitan. So I said, sold. I um I got that and I was just so I was just so flabbergasted that uh I don't know. I try not to talk about food prices anymore at home. I think my family is so sick of me complaining about stuff, but I'm, I just, oh, I'm just dumbfounded. I 
glue is a little bit dry here, so I'm really trying not to tear. I'm just kind of rolling this. And the packaging has gotten very small. Um, you just don't get the value anymore. So So we never bring chips into the house anymore. I'm not paying four or five dollars for a small bag of chips. And then even the family size they've they've cut down and made smaller. So we no longer bring I no longer get chips. I don't bring them in, which is fine. We don't buy I don't buy soda anymore unless someone is sick. Then I run out and get some Pepsi. Um Yeah, all those crackers, I don't, we only get crackers for, you know, cheese and crackers, but I don't buy munchies at all anymore, you know, just, I used to like to snack on, um, like the risp crisps, the baked, um, the baked crackers, but I don't, I don't do that anymore. So you're probably asking, what the heck do you eat, girl? <laughs> but I just, I don't snack. Um, and I just started, I don't buy store-bought cookies. Um, you know, I will bake them, but even butter now is ridiculous. I had that conversation. I had lunch with an old friend the other day, and her husband, she's remarried, and her husband is a court judge, family court judge. He makes excellent money. And she said, it's ridiculous. She goes, I go to the store and, you know, I get makings for salad. And she's, she's a vegetarian and stuff. Um, so they eat a lot of salads and, you know, fun stuff. She goes, I bring one bag home and it's $100. I said, I hear you, sister. It's, I don't know. You just got to stop buying that stuff. Figure out something else. And then, but if. You know, it's people want it. They're going to keep stocking the shelves and jacking up the prices. Okay, so there is the butterflies, which I think add a nice touch to it. So now we're going to do my something fast. Um and I'm going to see if you can figure it out before I put my fast items down. Um, so I'm sure when you look at this, I mean, some people, they, they call it, it's like a beehive. Um, I don't really see the beehive. I mean, I can see it. Um, but the vessel to me looks like something else. Um, and that something, to me, looks like a roller coaster. So I have these two gals here that are <laughs> little, they're in their little roller coaster car. And they are going to be screaming and laughing and holding on while they ride 
this car, this piece of architecture like a roller coaster. So they're starting at the top and they are just heading down and having a ball. We're going to, I think we will add one more because I want to put three. So we are going to put, start there, zip. So if it goes zip, 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 I think we got to come here. And then they will be on this one. They are coming down fast and furious. Isn't that fun? So they are just out having a blast. And then I'm going to grab my stamps because I'm going to stamp my um, text in um, my foreign language here. So let me grab my stamps and my ink pad and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my my I have my alphabet not alphabet yeah this is an alphabet hello I have my typewriter um I have my typewriter letters okay and we're gonna I'm also using my stays on because I have to put them up kind of close to here and I want to see how how that is going to work so I want to get a scrap paper first and see how dark it's going to be. Oh, that won't be bad. Okay. So I want to do M. O. I will, and I have them all out here. And, Yeah. I was not going to say Monday. No, no, no. T. A. Get all my A. Let's see, where do I want to start this second? I think we're going to start it right, right here, R. Oh, you know what I did? I used the, I used the U. Of course, it doesn't matter. Upside down. Ha! And not much difference is there, R U. R U S S S S S E. And that is Montagna Russi. That is Italian for roller coaster. Isn't that fun? So that is this week's collage. I think it's just a lot of fun. And 
something that would be really cool if the vessel was a roller coaster. Um, so that's it. So we have something fast, which uh, is the roller coaster cars. A scrap from a paper pad I did not use. I changed that out for the tissue paper butterflies. Flag, the architecture of the vessel. Um, and then my text, my Italian text. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this week's uh, collage. If you did, I'd love to have you give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. And as always, I will see you in my next video. All right, everybody, have a really great week. Bye-bye.